Hello, it's Bailey and welcome back to my channel. Today I was supposed to have a vlog going up. I was gonna have part two of reading my friend's favorite books go up today, but I'm not quite done with that video yet. So I've been seeing this tag go around and I thought it would be a good fun time to do today. Today I'm gonna be doing the January book tag created by Jan Agaton. And it's just some, you know, beginning of year questions, a little bit of reflection on the past year, but let's get into it. The first question is what is the last book you read last year? And mine was The Poppy War, which I gave two stars, sadly. And bonus points for if you have your first book from last year. And my first book of 2021 was actually The Troop by Nick Cutter, which I gave three stars. So didn't start high, didn't end high, it's fine. <laughs> But then the second question is what was your first read this year? And mine was The Dating Playbook by Farrah Rochon, which I also gave two stars. So not much has changed. <laughs> the third question is to share three of your reading goals this year. So firstly, my Goodreads goal is 100 books. Again, I think last year I read like 130 something. So I'm hoping to achieve that. Uh, my second main goal is that I'm trying to read my entire owned TBR that I owned at the beginning of the year, which was right around 100 books. And then I thought I'd throw in a goal that I didn't mention in my previous goals video. And this one is I didn't mention there because I'm not really holding myself to it super strongly, but I would like to be at 15% rereads this year. Uh, Rereading is very important to me. I like doing it. Uh, last year I was at, at about 11%, so I would like to do a little bit more than I did last year, so like 15% would make me happy. <laughs> Question number four is to share three of your most anticipated releases for the year. The first one of mine is still, I have faith that he will come back, uh, is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. Uh, secondly, I wanted to mention Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey, which I actually read an arc of, and you should be excited for it. You should be anticipating it because I really, really loved it. That one comes out in February, I think. And then also Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I loved Beach Read. I loved People We Meet on Vacation even more. So I'm very excited to see what she has to offer with her newest release. Question number five is which goals did you complete slash not complete last year. Uh, I did complete my Goodreads goal last year of 100 books, like I said, uh, but I did not. I mentioned at the beginning of the year that I was trying to get my physical TBR down to 10 books. Nowhere close to that. Like I said, I'm sitting at about 100, so I definitely failed that one. Question six is if you have any new releases that you've seen coming out this year that you have no interest in. And I definitely have a few, but I scrolled just through like ones coming out in the beginning part of the year. And uh, what stood out to me was Gallant by V.E. Schwab. Not interested in that at all. I have not vibed with V.E. Schwab at all really. And then also I Kissed Shara Wheeler by Casey McQuiston. I did read Red, White, and Royal Blue. I didn't love it that much. I definitely wasn't like super impressed by the writing style. So if the premise of a book by her doesn't interest me, then I'm not really interested. I did have a little bit of interest in One Last Stop, but I think as I've seen reviews come out, I've been less interested. And now this newest release is actually gonna be a YA and I'm just not interested in it at all. I know so many people are gonna hype that book up and I just don't think it's gonna be for me. Question number seven is what are some reading habits you'd like to change this year, if any? I definitely in 2022 want to really hone down on my book buying. Like I just really wanna be more careful about what I'm purchasing. I purchased way too much in 2021. So if I'm purchasing things this year, I would like for them to be things I'm gonna read quickly, like read right away. And I really don't need to be purchasing books that I can read for free through my library or through my Scribd subscription. If I can read them there, I should, and then I can purchase them if I end up loving them. Question eight is if there are any adaptations you're excited about. And I, in general, really actually don't like when books get adapted. And I will admit it's for kind of gatekeepy reasons. Like if I love a book, I hate for like a movie or TV show to come out and then other people see it and love it, but I'm like, but you didn't even read the book. So that's on me. But uh, there is one that I'm excited for and it is season two of Bridgerton. I did really like the first season, so I'll be tuning in for season two. <laughs> Question nine is your favorite bookish memory from last year. 
and mine are always to do just like with this community i wrote down uh like starting squash that series that's been a really big thing for me i'm so glad that kayla has jumped in to do that with me i love you know the idea behind it i really want to accomplish finishing more series so to do this periodically we've been doing it quarterly has been amazing and i've just been so happy with the participation we get and just it's a good time in my opinion and then i also wrote down like just when people participate in the shelf this book club that i host at all um i mean i usually expect that the host for the month will participate but anytime somebody also reads the book along with us when it's not like their month to host uh it means a lot to me like just active participation like that is amazing and i'm so glad i started that club it is something i hope to grow in the new year it is still just kind of like a baby book club um so i'd love to have more people join in that but that's been really special to me just to have that thing i created throughout the year and the tenth and final question is if if you have any carryovers from the previous year that you're hoping to still complete this year and i really for the most part am like a one book at a time gal maybe two books at a time but like i'm actively reading what i'm reading uh so i didn't really carry anything over so there you have it that was the january book tag i hope you enjoyed this i do think it's fun just to answer some of these reflective questions at the beginning of the year but thank you so much for spending some time with me today and i will see you again very soon bye